Kimmy Cantrell is a self-taught ceramic artist from College Park, Georgia. He studied business and worked in management for over 10 years. Then he remembered his love for creating art and began making clay vases, bowls, and faces. He continues his work to this day. His faces are beautiful expressions of stories and a range of emotions. Just look at their eyes. When you look at his work, what expressions do you see on the faces? Are the shapes organic, geometric, or both? This is our inspiration as we begin making our very own Kimmy Cantrell Abstract Faces. Look at all these different interesting designs, textures, so today I'm going to get you started on making this really cool Kimmy Cantrell inspired project. As I got started, this handout might be super helpful because it gives me some ideas of some geometric and organic shapes that I could use into my face. Okay, when you get your piece of tag board, I went ahead and I started off with an overall shape that I wanted to use for the head or the face. On a second piece of tag board, you'll notice that I have different shapes, different layers that I'm going to be using for the eyes. So when you looked at that example, I want you to think about each of those shapes as being a separate individual piece of tag board. So that as you draw out your shapes, know that these will be layered, especially the eyes. Not so much for the rest of it, but I really noticed, wow, there's a lot of shapes that make up those eyes. Now that you've got your ideas drawn out, let's take a moment and cut those shapes out. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the camera so that you can see all of this happening at a quick amount of time. So, like you see, the tip of the day is when you're drawing, think about making your shapes on the larger side because you can always cut them down to be smaller. I know that my shapes were just a little bit too big and that worked out fine because I could always just trim some of it off so that it would fit into the area that I wanted. So you can kind of see that I'm doing all of my shapes and placing them where I want them. The other thing is, is I would not cut out all of my shapes all at once because you might lose them from one class to the next. So once you've cut something out, like the layer for the eyes, glue them down immediately. Then I'm going to move into other shapes and designs for the rest of my face. But like I said, once you've got a shape cut out, please glue, glue them on right away so that you don't lose them. Give it to Mrs. Foxen and I'll take a moment to spray paint it black. Now, once you get your project back, it'll look something more like this. I'm going to grab out my oil pastels and really make it stand out. My oil pastels have a nice black background so that when I add color to it, it really makes all of those shapes more defined and stand out really nicely. So I'm just going to take my oil pastels and do some coloring. You'll notice that I'm thinking about block-like shapes into my Kimmy Cantrell face. And I notice that um, as I'm starting to color, I'm making sure that my oil pastel is placed on nice and thick. It's okay if a little bit of that black shows through. That black gives it a nice solid base. And I just love adding on these beautiful bright colors because it really stands out nicely against that dark black background. There, now that I've got it colored, I wanna show you one additional step that'll really make it stand out. Take your black oil pastel, even though it was spray painted black, look at what this black oil pastel will do. It's going to define my colors and my shapes even better. So what I'm doing right now is outlining everything. The black oil pastel really makes it stand out. Look at the difference between this and without the black oil pastel. I just love how it makes it stand out. So let's go ahead and start matting our work. Now that I've got everything outlined in black, I'm going to staple it onto a piece of construction paper that can be used as my frame or mat. Then, using my oil pastels, I'm gonna add a little bit more design or decoration to the framed look.
Just a touch of white oil pastel to really show contrast between my black areas and make those colors stand out even more. And lastly, this is, ta-da, it's finished. I love the way this looks and I hope you have fun creating your very own Kimmy Cantrell abstract face today. Thanks for watching, make it a great day.